In this problem, it says that we have refrigerant 134A. It gives us the specific volume, and it says that it flows through a tube at 80 PSI absolute. So we have a tube, and we have this refrigerant 134A that's um, flowing through the tube, and the specific volume is 0 0.6243 foot cubed per pound mass, and the pressure is 80 PSI absolute. And it's asking us what is the temperature of the refrigerant as it's flowing through this tube. So in order to figure this out, we're given the pressure and the specific volume, and we need to know what phase this is. So we need to know, is this a is this a compressed liquid? Is this a saturated mixture? Or is this a superheated vapor? So we can do that from the tables. So I'm going to go to the tables. Okay, so here's our saturated refrigerant, 134A. And I'm looking at the table with English units because we're, our problem is given in English units. And we I'm also looking at the pressure table because we were given the pressure that the refrigerant is flowing at. And what we want to do is we were also given the, the specific volume of the refrigerant. So what we want to do is look up the specific volume of the saturated liquid and the saturated vapor at that pressure and then see if the specific volume that we're given falls between those or if it's if it's so if it's so if the specific volume is less than the specific volume of the saturated liquid this means that we have a compressed liquid if the specific volume is less than the specific volume of the vapor but greater than the specific volume of the liquid, this means that you have a saturated mixture. And if the specific volume is greater than the specific volume of the vapor, this means that you have a superheated vapor. So what we want to do is compare the specific volume that we were given to the specific volume of the saturated liquid and the vapor at the given pressure is to determine what phase we have so we know what table we, c we can use to look up the temperature. Okay, so we're given the pressure as 80 PSI A. Here's our pressure call. Here's our pressure. So 80 PSI absolute is right here. So this means that the specific volume of the saturated liquid is 0 0.01303 and the specific volume of the saturated vapor is 0 0.59822. Well, the specific volume that we were given, so our specific volume, is 0 0.6243 foot cubed per pound mass. So this is greater than VG. So that means that we have a superheated vapor. So that means that we need to look up the temperature of our refrigerant on the superheated vapor table. So let's go find that table. So here's our superheated vapor for the refrigerant 134A. And what we want to do is this table is arranged with the by different pressures and so we use this table by first looking up the pressure that we're at and then we look up the temperature. Our pressure is 80 psi absolute so that's right here and we want to find the temperature so what we need to do is look up the temperature at, well, we need to look up the specific volume at that pressure because we know what our specific volume is. So the specific volumes are given right here. We know that our specific volume is 0 
four, three, because that was given in the problem. So this is foot cube per pound mass. So now let's go back down here. So for pressure absolute, the specific volume of 0 0.6243 is right here. So if we go over here, that's at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means that our temperature is equal to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go back to the slides. Okay, so we determined that, so for this problem we looked up, so we went to, um, we looked at the tables, at the saturated mixture table, and we looked up 80 psi A, and we saw that the specific volume that we were given was greater than the specific volume of the vapor. So from that we determined that we had a superheated vapor. And so then we went to the superheated vapor table and we looked up the pressure first, which was 80 psi absolute. And then we looked up the specific volume and we got that the temperature was is equal to 80 degrees Fahrenheit.